a little bit about um, your experience of, or ideas of home or whatnot. I think that, that would be perfect. You know, I actually don't mind being homeless, to be honest. Huh. To, to come out with it, like when I first came out here, sleeping behind a dumpster in an alleyway was insane to me. But when I left my alley, I actually <laughs> cried that I had to leave my alley. <laughs> and I'm out here with my mom. My mom cries every day. She hates being homeless and shit. It, it's kind of like pulling me because I don't, I don't really see how it's so gosh darn hard. Uh -huh. You know, like, I mean, you gotta go to sleep every night, you wake up, you eat. Granted, we don't have a place to go when it's snowing. We do have to sleep in the snow. There's a lot of hard times to it. Mm -hmm. I guess maybe I'm just an easy going person. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. But I'm, I'm kind of struggling because I'm trying to make it perfect for my mom, but we are homeless. And yeah. you can't have coffee every morning when you wake up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And <laughs> it's just kind of difficult. But uh -huh. other than that, um, I, I, I really don't mind it, mm -hmm. to be honest. It's, it's okay. Yeah. I met a lot of awesome people. <laughs> a lot of true people are homeless people. Yeah. My um, when I grew up, I was in in Southern California where it was warm. Um, something that I always wondered is like, a, is um, why why like why would you stay somewhere cold? You know what um, I mean? I don't know. I love border. <laughs> I love border. But we're geared for yeah. for snow and stuff. There's a lot of people out here that don't even have a sleeping bag. And my boyfriend says, you know, on nights like that, that pretty much all they can do is walk around. You know, yeah. it's too cold to even sleep. And to uh -huh. me, like, I really feel for those people. Like, if I could do something for each and every one of those people, I would do something for those people. You know, because I am lucky where I have a man that knows how to get the gear and where to get it and yeah. how to survive out here. You know what I mean? Not all of these people know that. Yeah. So that, like, that would be a little difficult sleeping in the winter out here. Yeah. You know, there's warming centers open, but they're not always open. Mm -hmm. So... That would be a little difficult. I don't know if you guys know, but the shelter here closes in April. Yeah. They have all the meals and everything for all us homeless, but there's nowhere for us to sleep. So when we get caught out here, it's a $100 ticket every time we get caught. Yeah. But they still welcome us here. And they still have the, the van in, they have the camping van in Denver. Yeah. yeah, in Denver. That just started last year whenever yeah. I left there. How did, it, did that affect you at all? No, no. I came here to border before mm -hmm. it affected over there. How do you, like, what do you think of that camping van? I think it's insane to make camping illegal anywhere. Yeah. It's a free world. You know, yeah. like we should be able to pack up and camp anywhere we want to, whether yeah. you're homeless or not. You know, like it's a free world. I, I think it's fucking insane. <laughs> I went to jail for a night over it and told the cops it's degrading. Like for camping outside, I'm going to jail. Right. Not for drugs, not for anything serious, yeah. but for camping outside. <laughs> I'm a bank. And I was like, well, I don't <laughs> like it, find a new town. Which, you know, if I don't like it, find a new town that's reasonable, that's cool, you know, whatever. But it's still degrading to go to jail for a night for uh -huh. sleeping outside. You know, like who has that right to take from yeah. somebody? I just don't feel anybody does. And so far, Boulder's been okay? I love Boulder. Yeah. I love Boulder. I love all the people in Boulder. I mean, they have their days just like we have our days. You know <laughs> what I mean? But the only thing I have a problem with with Boulder is that there's no shelter in the summertime. Yeah. Like the, and it's illegal for us to camp here. Why would you have all the feeds and welcome us here but give us tickets? Yeah. And they come out on the prowl looking. You know, like we actually have to go out and hide because they mm -hmm. come out every morning looking. So that's the only problem I have with Boulder. Because it starts kind of early if they're if they're shutting down in April. It's still cold here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the warming centers are open until, mm -hmm. I guess, May 15th. If, uh, like, it's cold enough out, yeah. 32, under 32, they'll mm -hmm. have them open. But just two nights ago, the night before it snowed, it was, like, 34 out. They, they weren't open. Yeah. They had no warming center open. So a lot of people had a rough night that night. Yeah. We, luckily, have a tent that we were in, and we were okay. But yeah. There's a lot of people that we talked to that just walked around all night. It was too cold for them to go to sleep, and uh -huh. it's just sad. It's, you know, that's awful. It's yeah. horrible. And I can't say that that's not border providing for them, because there are places to get it. Like last night, we went to camp with no food, so we called uh, the shelter to find out BCC's number, Boulder County Cares. Yep. There are people that come out and bring you blankets and food and stuff like that. And I called and, you know, wanted to see if, what their number was. Yeah. Well, they're not open no more because the shelter's not closed. There's still people sleeping out here. We still need you guys. You know what I mean? It would have been awesome to walk out in that snow and get three hot meals or even one hot meal for the three of us to split. Yeah. But they have nothing open now. So. But. I've had a lot of good friends out here that lose toes and fingers. Yeah. And when I saw that happen to good people, because we can't take the time to buy socks Jesse. or a sleeping bag, like, yeah. I mean, that's wrong. Yeah. That, that started changing my ways when I was traveling, seeing my friends just end up in situations like that. Because you shouldn't be. Yep. I mean, you should not be in that city. We're in the United States. You should be out of freezing and... Yeah. <laughs> but it, it will make you stronger out here. I, I think I'm a much better person yep. doing this. I met really good people mm -hmm. that when they say hi, they say hi. They don't want nothing in return. Yeah. 
Now they don't want to get in front of you because you might have a connection or lead to a job. Or yeah. Because you have an Audi. You know, she's <laughs> good people. Yep. Cool. And Thank you, Jesse. I met her out here. We're, we're from Pennsylvania. She's uh -huh. excellent people. Yeah. Trooper for a girl. Trooper. <laughs> Trooper. <laughs> Anything else you want to say, Amber, to people out there in Denver? Nope. Hey, everybody. Cool. Thank you, Amber. <laughs> cool. Hey, Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs>